What's up, YouTube? This is ya boy, Cold Blooded, and today I'm gonna be showing a little uh, uh, preview of weapons, uh, the attachments you can put on it, and all that great jazz. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you with uh, with anything else. The my character that I start off with, uh, that I play normally as a medium. I won't go into a discussion between that. I'll save that for another video. But uh, I'm gonna switch over to heavy because that shows all the weapons. Uh, you can use all the weapons: Gatling guns, pistols, submachine guns, assault rifles. Other classes use less. Uh, the lights can only use pistol submachine guns. Uh, the assault rifles and shotguns, pistols, and submachine guns go to the mediums. And the heavy gets all that. Um, only he can add uh, in the Gatling guns. And he can use all the assault rifle um, submachine guns and pistols and all that stuff as secondaries, which no other class can do. Um, I think the medium guy can only use assault rifles. Um, as a primary, as a secondary, he can use submachine guns um, and pistols. And then the light class only can use submachine guns as primary pistols uh, and submachine guns as secondary. So anyway, um, let's see here. We got the body type is heavy. Run over here to weapons and we'll check these out. We'll start off with what everybody, uh, every class can see. And we'll start off with pistols here. Um, there's the cult, the sea eagle. The Richie, which is badass looking, I'll show you that one. Uh, the Tomahawk and the Beljo. Now the Beljo is the only one that is uh, full on hardcore um, automatic. So this one you just pull the trigger, spray and pray. And this is it. Looks pretty sweet. I'll show you the uh, security version, which is black, which looks awesome, not gonna lie. Um, and I guess already I have a front attachment on it, which I use the muzzle brake. Silencer, look at that. Assembly requires human effort. Pretty nice. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Um, back out off of that. Bottom attachments. I use speed holster on almost every gun because it lowers your range. But if you look, the range like doesn't even change. But the stability increases and the equip uh, the uh, equip speed increases. So that's pretty tight. Uh, magazine attachment. Um, let's see. I would probably run this, the high capacity mag, I get 30 bullets, I only have 30, so I only have one more round uh, to reload. Here I have two, I can reload twice. Um, but you you lose a little equip speed, You accuracy barely goes down, but you add in another 10 bullets, so that's 10 bullets longer you can spray. Um, and with this game, damage, it takes a lot of bullets to kill somebody, so I would run that. And I'll run this as a light class. You use a knife in your second hand and your off hand. I'll show you the Richie. Look at that. Now, is that not sick? It's sick. And that silencer is massive. Look at that thing. Huge. I don't ever use silencer. Maybe uh, when I play online I will. Um, but it doesn't matter in uh, in single player campaign. Uh, that lowers your range a lot. Stability up a little bit so I won't use it. Uh, bottom attachment, see the speed holster, stability barely goes down, equip speed goes up, I'm not going to run it though. Um, rapid fire does not affect this gun, so not that. And I'll, I, if I don't use one of these scopes, the uh, the ACOG, um, if you play Call of Duty, or the reflex sights, um, I don't use those on pistols. I usually just run uh, the adjusted iron sights so I don't scope in. If you read, it says when aiming down adjusted iron sights, your view no longer zooms in towards the target, allowing you to maintain full peripheral awareness without sacrificing iron sight accuracy. So that explains it. This zoom, this doesn't zoom in. Iron sights does zoom in. So uh, adjust the iron sights. Um, the Sea Eagle just looks sweet because it's got that little light, you know, on the bottom. You can't actually use it. It's just there for looks. Um, I would run the uh, nothing iron sights bottom attachment nothing and hmm high fire yeah we'll do that <coughs> excuse me let's see the tomahawk um, now when you do the maybe I was yeah rapid fire there it is see the rate of fire goes way up still it doesn't make it uh, automatic all it does is just make it to where you can pull the trigger really fast and fire really quickly um, but I'd still run it because it barely lowers stability. Uh, the speed holster, I'm gonna run that. Muzzle brake barely reduces range, but doesn't increase anything else, so that's a nothing. Um, adjusted iron sights. 
when you do pistols and stuff, you really, or any gun, you really need to look at what it raises versus what it lowers. If it lowers something just a little bit but raises a lot, go ahead and equip it. But some things like that, like that, uh, that speed holster, um, you know, it, it did, it did a good amount of stuff. Um, let's see, high capacity magazine. Look at that. Reload speeds down a little bit. Stability goes up. Check that out. Stability goes up. Rate of fire, well, it doesn't really matter because you have to pull the trigger each time. Okay, so that's enough for that. We'll go to uh, the sniper rifles, which is this uh, Dragonov little looking gun and this Barrett. Um, to be completely honest, the damage is high, but it still doesn't kill in one shot. Um, this is more, this is a bolt action, the the, bear, the Barnett. That's a, that's a bolt action, so you have to, it takes a, it's just not worth it. Um, and then the Dragonov. Which is a, um, what's that word I'm looking for? You don't have to reload after each bullet. You can, semi-automatic, that's what I'm looking for. This is a semi-automatic bolt action. Both of them take more than one. This one takes like three, four shots to kill somebody. This one takes like three, so they're really not worth it. It looks awesome. There's a security version, which doesn't look as cool. It's an awesome looking gun. I won't even go into the attachments. Oh, well, I guess I'll show you the top attachments. Because there's the ACOG, right? But then there's this one. Look at that. It's like a double-sided scope. You look through one thing to look through another thing. I don't know if that makes much sense, but there it is anyway. And then you can do your <laughs> reflex sights on a sniper rifle if you want. This one blows. It takes up so much of the screen to look through, so don't ever use that one. Um, I'll just... You know, it's nothing speed sling, and then muzzle brakes and silencers, which that silencer looks pretty sweet. Look at that. That is pretty awesome. Okay, so anyway, enough of that. Now we go into the SMGs. Um, the carb is nice. It's my fa one of my favorites. This one and the uh, bald, the bulb done SMG. These two are cool. I like the iron sights on this gun a lot. I can't show you, but they're, just trust me, it's nice. Um, silencer, and then you've got your four muzzle brakes, which I'm su sure most people will like this one because it just looks awesome. Like a little crown on the end of your gun. You could stab somebody and like do some massive damage. You can't really, but it looks like you could. Um, but as you can tell, it doesn't really do much, so I'm not going to use it. Uh, I do use the front grip on this. It makes my equip speed down a little bit, but if you think about it, you I don't really swip, swatch gun swap guns that much um, so this not really doesn't affect me uh, it it really it doesn't show that it increases your stability but it does quite a bit see it only shows a little but anyway front grip uh, magazine size I use um, the uh, I usually run the uh, duct tape magazine that's that gun and the carb 9 I'll show you that one um, silencer looks bad to the bone look at that I mean it's just all the silencers in this game look really good. Um, I do use the muzzle brake on this one. Um, I use the front grip on this one. And the drum mag is really, really nice because it only starts off with 30 bullets, I think. Yeah, 30 and 150 uh, reserve. So I usually run this. That way I get twice the amount because it takes a lot of bullets to kill in this game. Um, run up here to top and then I I like the iron sights on this gun so I uh, I run the adjusted we've gone over that yep 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 okay and then we'll go over here to assault rifles now this red is really nice really really like this gun um, I do run a, a a vent a muzzle vent which all these muzzle vents by the way they're just aesthetics they don't really change not one is better than the other it's just what you like to look up um, bottom attachment I do the uh, front grip on it as well um, I do the duct tape mag on it and then I really like the iron size so I just run adjustables um, and the Grund assault rifle which is sick looking look I mean that is just sick um, now I have put the underslung grenade launcher on it, but I've never actually used it, so I don't even know how well it works, to be completely honest. Um, run the front grip. I like my muzzle brake. 
Look how much the stability increases. Look at that. See, each assault rifle is different too. You really have to play with all of them. Um, I've used every gun in this game, so that's why I'm telling you which ones I prefer. These have the least amount of uh, sway when you're firing um, adjusted iron sights. And then the shotgun, which is, where are you? There it is, the Mossington shotgun. This, do not like it. It takes like five, six shots. They can kill you in like one hit, but you're not going to kill them in one hit. Well, single player anyway. Um, the silencer is bad. Look at that. That is just awesome looking. Uh, bottom attachment, speed sling, and then iron sights. Um, this one, the freaking 3K assault rifle, which is a FAMAS, basically. It's a burst fire. Um, if it was fully automatic, it would be sweet, but it's not. It's a burst fire, so you have to shoot like three times to kill somebody. Um, enough of that. I'll go over here to primaries. And we've gone, we've covered all these, so now all we have is Gatling guns. Uh, this shotgun is awesome. Absolutely killer. The only problem is, since a heavy is the only one that can use it, you're so slow that it's hard to get really close to people. Um, but it's got, it's like a six round fire. Um, the silencer is awesome looking on it. I don't run it. Uh, bottom attachment, speed sling. Equip speeds way up, stability is not very much down. It's a shotgun, it's not going to have, it's not going to be stable. Um, and then adjustable iron sights. Um, and then where's my other one? Here. Look at that gun. Is that not sick? That is totally awesome right there. Totally awesome. Can't do any upgrades. Um, and then this is my other favorite right here. The Ch Ch Chisnor. I don't know how to pronounce it. Huge bullets. Look at them things. 100 round clip. Most of these guns, if you just uh, tap the... Um, if you tap the trigger, it's not going to get too crazy and out of hand. If you hold the trigger, yeah, that it's going to go everywhere. But um, if you just tap it here and there, you won't you won't run into a problem. There's the uh, uh, security version. <clears throat> but anyway, um, this is the uh, this is me showing you guys a little bit. Here's a grenade launcher, which it's really sucky. It's not very good, but it looks cool. Um, but anyway, this is the uh, tutorial, or just not a tutorial, but showing you guys uh, the weapons, their attachments, uh, what I like about them. If I showed them all to you, this movie would be way too long. Um, I'm already looking at, what, like 12 minutes and 30 seconds, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up, tell you guys, uh, I wanted to give a quick shout out to everybody that watches my stuff. Um, tell your friends about me. You know, I mean, really, it's because of you guys that I even still keep doing this, because you guys watch my stuff and it makes me want to continue to make videos you know if you guys weren't out there watching my stuff I probably would I probably wouldn't be making videos anymore so um, I just really appreciate you guys uh, keep doing what you're doing I hope everybody's doing well and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video this is cold-blooded signing off catch you guys on the flip side